For most people who fish, if they catch one, want to take a picture with it, handle it for a while, and then they decide <laughs> if they'll keep it. Well, if you're not going to keep it and you want to help the chances of the fish's survival, then this classic edition of Outdoor Storytellers is definitely for you. Hello and welcome to another edition of Outdoor Storytellers. I'm your host, Dan Barth. Today we're on the North Fork of the Clearwater River. It's mid-January. Overnight low last night was about 2 or 3 degrees. Currently it's about 14 degrees. Now, we've located two steelhead right here in the North Fork. They're actually right over my shoulder. It's a male and a female that have paired off very early in the season. Now, they're not going to spawn until March or April. But in the meantime, this female that's right behind me, she's beginning to clear out an area called a red, which is a bed, which she'll eventually lay her eggs in about two months. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and catch the male fish, and we're going to be using, of course, barbless hook and also a special net that doesn't harm the fish at all. So the main goal right now is catch the fish, also by minimizing our handling of it so there's no incidental mortality. One of the key things while you're fishing, when you're releasing steelhead, is using a net that's made of rubber. Uh, the fish have a natural slime that protects the fish uh, from bacterial infection, although as this fish has been here for a while, you can see there's a little bacterial growth on its head. So as this fish sits in the net, it's not losing any of that slime because of the rubber. Okay, so I'm going to pick them up. There we go. That is a beautiful fish. Got some bacterial growth on its head. But as you can see, the adipose fin has been cut. This is actually a hatchery fish. Ready, pal? You're a hatchery fish, we're going to let you go. There he goes. For Outdoor Storytellers, I'm Dan Barth, KXLY4.